Aaron, uh, your team was really grinding today, seven walks, and you had the big se uh, seven runs in the third inning. How great was it to see uh, your team grinding like that? Uh, great. Um, you know, this was big to, to have the kind of night we had last night. Uh, and, then, and then to follow it up today, you know, kind of supporting Masa there, who, who set the tone for us, and to really have that big inning and kind of take the game away. Um, just a lot of really good at-bats. Obviously, the huge one from Didi, which was great to see, and, um, you know, <clears throat> a great way to, to start out this series. Uh, Andy, on your right, Aaron. With everything that's changed in starting pitching, if you get the chance, is it still important to you to let a guy try to qualify for a win? Um, not it didn't factor in that much. I mean, the bottom line is, um, you know, at that point, <clears throat> a little bit of traffic there, and, and I would have, you know, probably gone and gotten them. So, you know, right now it's it's about us winning. So, and I think everyone's on board with that. Uh, Ken in the first row. Aaron, you mentioned how happy you were uh, to see Didi get that hit. What have you seen going on with him, and, and what did he do uh, in that at-bat? Uh... Um, laid off a couple pitches to extend the at-bat. Um, you know, they, they've really been trying to get him to expand and chase a little bit. You know, just just in that where, where it's been, you know, struggling for a while, you st yeah hitting gets hard and and you you want it bad and you you know you're working on your mechanics and you know I think I said before the game sometimes it takes one at bat or or a couple of good takes or one good swing to kind of settle you down a little bit and then your natural um, rhythm starts to take over but <clears throat> it doesn't surprise me at all I mean this is I you know I expect this from from Didi you know just when you think you got him down he's got a big swing and he got on a look like a pitch up maybe even up and out of the strike zone and, and obviously a no doubter and a, and, a, and a real dagger at that point. So really excited for him because I know how hard he's worked behind the scenes to kind of get it going. And, and obviously he's, he's very important for us. To your left, Aaron. Tim? What is it about Tanaka that allows him to thrive under the pressure and spotlight of the postseason? Um, he's just really good at his craft. Um, you know, he's... He, he understands his body, his mechanics, um, you know, can do a lot of things with the ball, obviously. Um, and I thought today was pretty sharp. Um, I, I thought he threw some good splits. The slider was, was a real factor for him. You know, I saw him elevate the heater a little bit at times when, when he needed to and, um, you know, gave us just what we needed and, and really set a good tone for us to, to send us off to Minnesota in a, in a good position. And seated in the second row. Aaron, what's the message to your team being up 2-0 with a chance to make this a quick series? Throttle down. You know, we we got a <clears throat> obviously a, a good flight tonight and, and a, you know, off day tomorrow where, where we'll go in and, and get a light workout in um, and try and try and enjoy the off day and, you know, a little recovery day and, you um, make sure we go out and match their energy. Obviously, you know, first home playoff game for them. I'm sure the crowd will be energized and, you know, we need to go match it. And, and I know we will. I know the guys, uh, it'll be throttled down and hopefully we can go get one. Uh, Joel, to your right. Aaron, what does it mean to a manager at this time of year to have trust when they hand the ball to a starter? And what is your level of trust with this specific starter with Tanaka because of his history at this time of year? Yeah, I mean, it's it's certainly partial. Obviously, he's he's had a really good history in the postseason um, and a really good history, you know, as a pitcher in general. You know, before he got here and over here, he's been highly successful. Um, but, yeah, I know he's going to go out and – and you know command it um you know fill the strike zone um and when he has both of his secondary pitches going then he can be really tough obviously so you know i always feel good when we're giving the ball to Massa, and i feel like um he's in a pretty good place here um after one start now in the postseason we'll stay over there with bob Aaron, excuse me, Aaron, uh, can you talk about the circumstances now that kind of following up on Joel's question, the circumstances that 
will be afforded for Severino now in Game 3. I mean, he's got some momentum for the team behind him, and you've got a fully rested bullpen going going into that game. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, with an off day, you know, obviously we'll have all kinds of firepower ready to go um, um, Monday in Minnesota um, and look forward to seeing Seve go out there and hopefully really be on the tack and continue to to build off of what he's done since he's come back. Um, we feel like he's throwing the ball incredibly well and know what he's capable of when he's on top of his game, and, and that's the expectation and, and looking forward to seeing him go out there. I think we have three more. Start with Howie. Aaron, Edwin Encarnacion got you on the board first in both games, and he looks really locked in. Can you talk about what his presence means to the lineup? It's huge, man. He's such a good hitter. Um, he's so hard to get through. Um, you know, I, I, it's it's a heavyweight fight getting him out, you know. And even when you do get him out, it's it's work. It's hard. Um, and obviously, he's so dangerous with his power, too. So he's been huge. You know, I think him in the middle of the order just kind of settles everything in and makes us really hard to get through um, time and time again. And, and he's right in the middle of that. Uh, Mark, to your right, Aaron. Aaron, I mean, I, you know, you've, you're holding down, your pitching staff's held down a pretty powerful lineup in these last two games. How much do you think is that just execution by the guys and how much of it is maybe having some extra time that you referenced a couple days ago, you know, to prepare for a group like this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully that's part of it. Um, you know, I think getting out to some leads and getting some guys in there. Um, but, I, but I feel like the guys are, from a frame of mind standpoint, locked in and and you know know where you know they have the best chance to be successful um feel like the game plans have been good and executed and and kind of carried out by gary behind the plate and and by and large those guys have come in and really been able to slam the door and and when when the offense is doing what it's doing um you know it i, I think it i think it allows and gives the pitchers even greater confidence just to really go in and, and be on the attack. Uh, Aaron, thanks so much. We right. appreciate it.